Ladies and gentlemen, we gather here today on February 31st, 2053 to hold Gregory, last name, on trial for several attempts of murder, manslaughter, destruction of property, theft, Grand Theft Auto. Now, I introduce you, the prosecution. Introduce yourself. I am the law. Okay, Mr. Law. Uh, now we will introduce the defense. I am y'all, and we are y'all. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't keep a straight face on that. here today to show the flaws of this child who has just done awful things. He's destroyed and killed all of your favorite animatronics. Montgomery Gator, Roxanne the Wolf, and the Chicken. Also, maybe or may not send a child to, uh, their death in an elevator crash. Look, look at him. Look at those eyes. Those are the eyes of a purebred killer. And I don't know if I can live a little bit longer seeing this man get away free. Okay, Mr. Law, submit your evidence. We found this on him. Do you know what this is? Take a good whiff. Whiff. Whiff it. I, whiff. I, I, prefer, I whiff it uh, prefer not to. M Mr. Law, Mr. Law. Whiff it. Per personal personal smith. It's gasoline. And you know what happens with a match in gasoline? It creates fire. You know what we found at the pizza plex? Fire. Well, <laughs> thank you for the science lesson, Mr. Law. <laughs> I rest my case. Okay. Um, if the defense would come forward to submit an alibi... Bring forth the alibi, <laughs> Mr. Y'all. All my life, I have studied this book. Not this book. The lawyer book. <gasps> this is not what we need. The Bible. Sir, if, if you could please put that and back where you found it. That, that's for uh, witnesses later. The Bible. And do you know what y'all found in this? We found innocent people. Because God chooses the innocent people. And yes, you have some of them, they have done bad things. But God saves them. Can I get an amen? I would prefer an alibi, sir. <laughs> Fair enough. This boy, look at him, he's only eight years old. How on earth can this eight-year-old right here know how to set a fire a fire according to his parents that uh, will not be named because they're not here but uh they care about him probably and from what they have said is that he was in his gaming room you know he is having fun he had monster drinks all over the place so how on earth can he stay up past his Betty Bay Bay time, then to go to the preschool the next day, and somehow on the same night, set a building on fire. Shut, the point is, we're all guilty. We've all made mistakes. And the Bible, if people can be redeemed in the Bible, so can this child. I rest my case. If Mr. Law could call up his first witness, I bring to you to the stand um, an old geezer, an old laddie boy, dusty boy, because he's so old he's going to pass away at any moment. And uh -huh. his name is um, P. Pa Willie. Alright. Alright, oh, come on. My bones. There oh. we go. Mr. 
Peepaw, Geezer, Billy. Will you say the truth and only the truth? My, my name, my name is William Afton. Sure, Peepaw. Now, put your hand on the Bible. Wait, hold on. There. Now, repeat after me. Repeat I, after me! Peepaw. Peepaw! No. No! <laughs> Mr. Peepaw Willie, where were you at the time of the tragedy, the fire of the pizza fix? Which fire? The, the, the one with the child. There was a child on fire? No, there was... The, the child was there. Oh, hey, fire. I know Do him! You remember that? That's that kid that lit the building on fire! You saw him set the fire, correct? Well, I mean, it was a bit of a complex situation. I saw him light the fire, but it was through the eyes of my slave that I took the mind over. Surely that can be accounted into the law system. Well, I just, well, I just, uh, You have Alzheimer's. You must be mistaken. The trauma, the trauma just melts what, up his head. Wouldn't that so make he me didn't see the voice of the building on fire. No, shut up, Peepaw. And with uh, that in and... mind, this boy is guilty, and I have an eyewitness. I risk my case. <laughs> Howdy, Peepaw. Oh, you look familiar. No, no, that wasn't me. That was someone else. Boar peanuts. You like boar peanuts, people? Uh, they're okay. Now, here's the thing, y'all. Now, did you see that boy over there during the fire? Like I said, it's complicated. I mean... I saw him, but it was through the eyes of Vanessa, and she was mind-controlled, and I was looking through her eyes, and it's this whole whole situation. But did you really, with your own eyes, not be mind-controlled, not mind-controlling body or anything like that? Technically, no. I was locked in the basement for 50 years. This man's delusional, and that's okay, because it only proves my alibi that that man right there, that uh, that saw that, that little sweet soul of his, would never, ever do anything bad. Get in your cage right now. Your parents pay me good money for you not to lose their job because they're spoiled, and you're a spoiled little brat. Get in your cage right now. You paid me good money for this. All right. Anyways, Peepa. So as I was saying, there is no evidence to prove that he is guilty. Does that Never mean I can go it. home now? Yes, yes you can. Come on, let's go, let's go, come on. I can go back to the basement. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Peepaw Willie, for your wonderful testimony. If we could, uh, if we could, uh, call, call, call upon the next witness, Mr. Law. So, um, you may know him from, uh, 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 uh oh my god, my hands. Oh, oh, oh my banner broke it. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> Mr. Law, <laughs> is everything okay? <laughs> Yes, I only have a little bit of stroke. I have a daily stroke. Anyways, oh, oh my head. <laughs> Anyways, I'm very serious right now. The, the, the next witness, Mr. Law. Mr. Our next witness. Our next witness is somewhat of a um bright fellow. You know, he's a bit of a, a cheerful man, uh, but unfortunately got to a recent divorce with his, uh, with his friend, um, Bonbon. 
but you know, he's going through some hard time right now. So let, let's introduce uh, uh, Mr. Funtime Freddy. Hello, everyone! Such a pleasure to be here and entertain all you lovely folks! Mr. Funtime Freddy. Yes, that is me! Not the kids. Not the kids. They're not taking it well, I'm afraid. You know, with all divorce thing and all that stuff. I, when Bon Bon left me, I felt like a piece of my soul and also my hand is gone forever. <laughs> okay, I need you to put your right hand on the Bible, please, so that you can say your truth. <laughs> oh, I miss him so oh my much. God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Put your 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 left hand on the uh, Bible, please. Anyways, Mr. Fun Time, you're oh. oh, oh. truth and only the truth yeah mr fun time did you see that child over there during the fire um hold on let me think <laughs> maybe because me and bonbon bon we're, we're at the pizza plex celebrating our 50th anniversary 50th shut up Bon Bon said she smelled smoke. And I said, that's kind of weird. We're robots. How did you smell smoke? But then there was an actual fire. And then I saw uh, a child just scuttle across the floor like a little weirdo. I said, wow, I bet that kid started a fire. You know what? That is a fair obsession. You know why? Because he did do it. Oh my God. And that's why your wife is dead. She's dead? Oh yeah, forgot to tell you that. <laughs> no, Bon Bon, it should have been me. <laughs> Shutting down. And there you have it, folks. Here we have, you know, obviously, uh, a great witness of seeing the acts of a child literally killing his wife. So, with that, I rest my case. Hello? Mr. Ah! Funtime Freddy, y'all. How are you doing today? Bon Bon? Is that you? She's dead. Uh, it should have been me! Uh, shutting down. I am the defense man, y'all. Boiled peanuts, y'all. Iced tea. And we are here to defend that boy over there that killed your wife. I mean, he didn't kill your wife. What? God. Reboot complete. Hello there. My name is uh, Mr. Frederick Fazbear, and I have come here to give witness to the heinous crimes of Mr. Gregory. Oh God, he's Markiplier. Now, do you know who that kid is there over there, y'all? That is Mr. Gregory, last name. The perpetrator of the heinous crimes. Exactly. He murdered my wife, Bon Bon. And then he set the building on fire to cover up the evidence. Well, well, did he though? Did he though? Did he? Though? I saw it with my own two eyes. Are you okay, sir? Mr. Freddy Fazzy Wazzy Bear. You, I mean, you know, I mean, I know you don't know Gregory. That that man over there. You see that? Wait. Um. Excuse me. Excuse me one second. You best get your crap together right now. If you don't, you're screwed. Do you get me? Don't blink at me, you freak. No, you best listen. Ladies and gentlemen, we gather here today in this court on February 31st, 
to hold trial to Mr. Yall for the murder of Mr. Gregory, last name. 